Welcome to the Slashboard tutorial. Today we're going to install a media wiki to a clean Ubuntu Linux box. And this will take about 10 minutes to install everything you need. So first I install all needed um, components like the HTTP server and the MySQL database and PHP modules and all you need. So I use the uh, Ubuntu package manager to install um, Apache first. So this one was wrong, so I picked the uh, Apache 2 npm prefork package and install it. Just say yes and it will download everything it needs. Okay, that's it. Next, we need a uh, MySQL database. Just check um, from the tutorial, which is in our wiki, uh, what steps need to be done. Uh, switch back to the installation. I give some password for the root user for the MySQL database. Confirm it and the installation finishes. Also starts the database. Okay, next we need uh, PHP modules for Apache. And we also need the MySQL extensions for PHP. Okay, this should be enough. MySQL is running. Okay, now we're going to download the MediaWiki files and we're going to use SVN to directly check it out from the repository. And I use this link for the repository, so I just copy it and paste it to the command line. And the name of our wiki will be test wiki. So I'm just 
just cut and paste. And now it will download all the files directly from the MediaWiki servers. Let's take some time. Okay, now I open another tab in my Firefox and I open the locally running web server. So slash for that local is my notebook. Oh, okay, this Apache does not know it has PHP installed, so we're going to restart it. And try again. Okay, now we see the setup page. Okay, another problem. We don't have the rights, so we change owner for the test wiki directory. Okay, change owner. And try again. Okay, looks better. So we skip the extensions for this uh, short tutorial. Now we create a database and we create users in this database. So we connect to the MySQL database and just paste um, this uh, statements which will insert three users and grant access them uh, for the test wiki which we just uh, created. Okay, now we can go further with this form. Give your wiki a name. Set your email address. Choose a license. If it's a public wiki, you should think about what you are choosing here. And this is the username that will be used to log into the wiki um, for administration. And then you set the database you just created, the test wiki and the username. I used to create three users with different rights, one for write access, one for read access and one for administration. So I take the under V user, just copy and paste it. And for creating tables and stuff, the wiki will use a super user account which is under A. And that's it. Install. Looks good. Installation successful. So now we have to move the config file. And that's it. <coughs> Go back to the browser and reload the page. That's the wiki. Um, just a short test if it's functioning. <coughs>